Hey there, this is Charles Alvarez with Prestige Detail and Ceramic. Today we're at Stewart Jet Center in Stewart, Florida, and we're gonna be doing a ceramic coating on this TBM 940. So the TBM is actually produced by a company named Dower, and they're from France. And some interesting facts about the TBM is it's actually known as a super fast uh, turboprop, very fast turboprop. And the reason is because this thing can actually fly up to 400, almost 400 miles an hour. So that's pretty fast. Another thing about them is, which is one of the reasons that we're getting this ceramic coated, is the fact that TBM, they actually say that it takes 250 hours to paint this airplane, 250 man hours. So imagine that, that much time is being put into painting an airplane, you definitely want to protect it with something more than just wax. Another thing about this airplane here is this is almost a $5 million airplane. So you're spending that kind of money on an airplane, you want to have it protected with the very best ceramic coating available. So let's go ahead, we're going to start off with doing a walk around uh, of the TBM and we're going to show you some areas that are particularly susceptible to the elements and to the engine itself. So one thing about this uh, TBM is it has a PT6 turboprop driven by a five prop propeller here. And the exhaust right here on the sides, it actually runs right along the paint here. And one of the problems that these type of airplanes have is exhaust soot. So here on this particular TBM, this is actually a pretty new airplane, a 2019 model, but you can already see some discoloration. If you look here, you see the paint, and then here we have some soot. And you can see how it started to rub off right here with just a little bit of wiping on it. So you may think, okay, that's not a big deal. I can wash that off. But here's the problem. Most aircraft owners have good intentions. They plan on maintaining their airplane washed and waxed and cleaned. But the reality is sometimes life gets busy. You may not have time to get it scheduled for a wash. And the longer that this soot sits on there, it's gonna actually start eating away at the paint. It's gonna start oxidizing the paint. It's gonna start weakening the paint. And with a ceramic coating, the ceramic will actually act as a sacrificial layer between the paint and the soot. So rather than the soot eating at the paint, it's actually eating away at the ceramic instead, keeping your $5 million paint job or aircraft looking its best. So let's go ahead and do a little walk around. We're gonna do, uh, before we start a job, we always do an inspection. We look over the airplane, make sure there's no damage, make sure there's no airworthiness concerns. And one of the things that separates our business from other ceramic coat businesses is the fact that I myself am an AMP certified mechanic. So I work on airplanes for a living as well. And Mike, who's shooting the video right now, he's also an AMP certified mechanic. So we take our job very serious. We understand that aircraft is a very sensitive uh, they fly in environments that are very sensitive and so we try to always take the utmost care and we always approach an, a job from a technical standpoint as well making sure that what we're doing we're not going to damage anything and that it's going to be safe to operate for the owner so let's go ahead and walk around and these the wingtip here as well this light over time will start to fog uh, with the sun's UV rays and things like that. So we're gonna ceramic this as well, give it that protection so that it lasts longer. And then one of the, one of the big things that aircraft operate in harsh environments. So that means UV rays. So the UV is the number one killer of paint. We do a lot of jobs where the paint has been beaten down by the sun and it's oxidized. Now what happens at that point is that there's a lot more correction involved. There's compounding, there's polishing to get that paint back to looking uh, good again. And so this large surface here, as this airplane's flying at 25,000 feet, it's a lot closer to the sun than at sea level. So the UV rays are stronger up there. Ceramic coating has a very good protection against UV. That means your paint's not absorbing and trying to protect itself on its own, it has a coating and a protection on top of it. So that's another reason um, to have your aircraft ceramic coated. Another thing that's really big is keeping your airplane clean. So preventative maintenance is a big part of owning an airplane. And as you can see, 
right here we have streaks and this airplane has uh, been flying so it's dirty. The ceramic coating is going to help keep the surface clean longer. And when you do go to wash it, it's gonna wash off very easy, very minimal effort to remove dirt and debris and environmental fallout that may attach itself to the aircraft paint and start to dull it over time. So we'll continue walking around. The soot line runs right through this whole area here too. So that's an area that's gonna be protected. Ceramic coating is also very slick, which means that as the wind passes over the wing or over the fuselage, it's gonna actually glide faster. So it's gonna give it a smoother travel in the air. We'll work our way around. So as part of the process, the first step is we're gonna do a decontamination wash, which means we're gonna, we're gonna professionally wash the airplane. We're gonna pass a clay bar over top of the airplane to remove any uh, pollen or bird droppings, anything that may be sitting on there, we're gonna make sure that the surface is decontaminated and as clean as possible. And then we're gonna move into our second phase, which is the polish. We're gonna polish the surface, remove any imperfections and swirls, and try to get the surface as perfect as possible before the coating goes on. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this, and you'll be able to see the process throughout the video as we move into the wash and the polish the coating, and then the final result. All right, let's get to work. All right, so here we are. It's day two of our TBM 940 ceramic coating. So the first day we did the decontamination wash, clay bar, dried it all down, did a polish. Some areas we had to do a two-step. Um, mostly it was the areas that had the exhaust soot that was starting to bake into the paint. So we had to compound it and then polish it. Uh, but the rest of the airplane, we were able to do uh, one-step polish. Um, you know, keep in mind this airplane is 2019, so it's very new. Uh, the paint is in excellent condition, so it polished right up real nice. Um, here we have our lighting set up. This will be the first section that gets coated. Uh, lighting is important when you're doing coating just because you want to make sure that you're wiping off all of the coating and not leaving any residue behind because that residue will dry on there and then would need to be uh, polished away. So it just creates extra work. Um, so anyhow, before we begin coating, I wanted to take a moment to talk about G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. This is the product that I use for everything. Um, G-Technic is a company that's based out of the UK. They have a presence uh, worldwide, Australia, the Middle East, uh, North America, South America, UK. So they're growing all over the world. It's a company that's been around for a while now, 20 years. Um, so the reason I use G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra is because this is a product and this is a company that is used by some of the best detail shops in the world, the largest detail shop in North America actually uses uh, G-Technic Crystal Serum. They have different coatings. This is their 
professional level coating, which basically means that you can't buy it on Amazon or eBay or anything like that. This is a product that is only sold to accredited installers, which I am one of those, but there are many around the country. Um, and so this product here actually has a 10H hardness uh, on the pencil scale. So essentially the majority of coatings that you're gonna find that you're gonna buy, um, you know, retail, you're gonna, they're gonna be 9H hardness. That's pretty common in the industry. Um, this product here is a 10H hardness. So it's actually harder than most of the products that you can buy and that just helps protect from uh, scratches and it, the durability of the coating itself um, when it cures it forms a harder layer on top uh, there's more science to it of course but I'm not gonna get into all of that right now um, maybe a, another video at another time uh, so anyhow crystal serum ultra professional uh, grade ceramic coating is one of the best coatings that you could possibly buy I like using it on every airplane that I do um, because of that I want to give my customers uh, the very best coating that I have available to myself and I have worked with other coatings in the past I'm not gonna mention uh, them by name in this video but um, they're not bad coatings but once I got on with G Technic I pretty much found the product and the company that best fit what I was doing and what I uh, was needing so before we start the ceramic coating, there's another step, uh, one final step before that, and it's called panel wipe. So panel wipe is a formulated solution. This is mine. I buy it from G-Technic and I just put it in their bottle, um, but I buy it in the big, the big jug. So what panel wipe does is it it creates, uh, it cleans the surface of any sealants, waxes, uh, anything that may be left over from the polish process or from previous uh, detail jobs, if they put wax on here, anything like that. This is gonna clean all of that away and it's gonna leave a surgically clean surface. And the reason that that's important is because when the ceramic coating is being applied onto the paint, um, it actually, bonds chemically to the paintwork and in order for it to bond and go down as deep as possible uh, which is going to affect durability and how long it lasts how effective it is in order for that to happen at its greatest potential uh, it needs to be panel wiped correctly um, i personally go over every section twice just to make sure that i'm not missing any areas or you know um or the product may be dried up on the rag or whatnot. So, you know, I always try to make sure because going through all this work, all the polishing, all the cleaning and everything, um, and then having the product not cure on there the way that it could, um, it's just gonna affect how long it lasts and how well it performs. And, you know, obviously I want um, the owner of the airplane to be, to be happy and get what he paid for and have the product last as long as possible. Um, so that's pretty much it for right now. I'm going to start panel wiping and then start coating. And I would check back in once the job is complete, once the coating is on there and I'm hundred percent finished, um, I'll check back in and we'll see the final results. As you can see, the airplanes is really nice. It, it, this is really nice already. Um, the coating is going to give it a nice extra gloss. So let's get to work. All right, so here we are. This is the finished product. Just finished ceramic coating it a little while ago. One of the awesome things about ceramic coating is not only do you get all the amazing benefits, the protection, but you also get very nice gloss. So 
So one of the things that people usually want to know is how long does a ceramic coating last? Well, a lot of that really depends on not only the type of coating, but the care, maintenance, conditions, how often you use it, is it kept in a hanger, all of those different things. But I will tell you this, this ceramic coating on an automotive finish is rated for, actually has a nine year guarantee on an automotive finish. So on an aircraft, which operate at high altitudes and have hot exhaust running alongside them, I would say you should expect to get at least five years out of this coating, which is a really great value if you think about the protection that it's gonna give you, the ease of washing, slickness, keeping it clean, the reduced soot sticking on there, reduced bugs, UV protection, So there's the final product. So if you are interested in getting a quote to find out what it would cost to get your aircraft ceramic coated, there's a couple ways that you can reach me. One of those would be to go on my website, prestigeaircraftceramic.com, and you can send me a message right there or you can call me at 561-906-9454. I'm located in South Florida, Palm Beach County, but I can come to you if you're within reasonable distance, or we could probably make some kind of arrangement For me to travel to you wherever it is that you are for more information you can go on my website or my youtube channel i have other jobs other aircraft that i've done so there it is this tbm is now protected and ready for whatever the environment may throw at you prestigeaircraftceramic.com Charles Alvarez thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions comments shoot me a message and I'd be more than happy to answer those thank you very much check out some of my other videos or subscribe to my channel posting more videos as I do more jobs in the future.